go. Okay, so everybody knows what Craigslist is. We're all very familiar with it. Uh, you can pretty much get anything you want on Craigslist. You can get furniture, uh, concert tickets, uh, diseases. Um, <laughs> It's funny because they never actually, you know, are posting that they're going to give those away, but a lot of people <laughs> find them. You have to be selective. That's why we've created this segment called Things We Found on Craigslist. I'm going to always be a player. Uh, apparently this man saw a woman in Starbucks and he says, quote, I was wearing a black ball cap and a white t-shirt that had a no a-hole sign on the back. <laughs> um... Maybe it's just me, but if you're wearing anything that says a-hole, your chances of love are kind of slim. <laughs> Everybody loves free stuff. This person is giving away free pickles. Quote, I have an unopened jar of sweet pickles that I know I'll never eat. <laughs> it's not expired. I just don't like sweet pickles. <laughs> and in case that doesn't suit your fancy, they also have, quote, a half eaten gallon of sherbet ice cream <laughs> and a bulk bag of oatmeal, the kind that has raisins, dates, and other stuff. <laughs> okay, first of all, why would you even give away free ice cream? If it's half, just throw it out. That's gross. And second of all, what do you mean, and other stuff? What, like ants? <laughs> Well, uh, this is a therapeutic service uh, entitled Psychic for Gays Call for a Free Reading. I don't know what's more offensive about this, the fact that I'm straight and I don't get a reading, <laughs> or the fact that this person said gays. Who even talks like that? If you're one of those gays, give us a call. <laughs> what are you talking about, weirdo? Here's another misconnection entitled Plain Bagel. <laughs> and the only thing they said was, you know that my world is you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why do you have to get all cryptic and weird and include breakfast items, you know? <laughs> and you know what's even sadder is there's probably somebody out there who's reading this saying, <gasps> Poppy seed? <laughs> Lame. Okay, this is the grossest sin thing I have ever seen on Craigslist, so just bear in mind. This is a strictly platonic relationship entitled Got Back Me? Here we go. It says, hey, I want to pop the pimples on your back. I have nicely manicured fingers and am very gentle. This isn't a sex thing. I just really like popping zits. And by the way, it's 20 bucks a session. Plus all your dignity, I think. Uh, that is disgusting. It's so gross, I couldn't even think of a joke. Like, I sat there for hours, like, where's the funny part? There is nothing funny. It's just nasty. I'm never shaking this woman's hand. I will chop your firewood for free. Let me do the work for you. You need the wood chop, and I need the exercise. Seriously. Um, no. Let's see, crazy guy coming to my house with an ax because he needs the exercise? Pass. <laughs> this person posted this in the rants and raves section best way to get rid of a one night stand uh, the one part says <laughs> keep your pants shirt and shoes on the floor in the middle of the night say you have to go to the bathroom and then leave <laughs> what about your pants shoes and shirt <laughs> I think it's going to be a little obvious when you run to the car naked that something's <laughs> up and then they also say Set the alarm on your cell phone to go off at 3 a.m. Pretend it's an emergency call. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but the only phone call that anyone usually gets at 3 in the morning is called, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so I think it's a little obvious. Good news, we got an email from Mr. Fabulous, ladies. This is what he said. I love this. How would you like to chat with a tall, muscular, educated, witty, single, wealthy, cute as hell, adventurous, and generous stud? Well, I don't blame you. Hell, I might even turn gay for someone like that. <laughs> if you're trying to get a chick, don't ever, ever say, hey, I might turn gay for that. <laughs> Not exactly a turn on, okay? No thanks. And oh, I also love this. Who the hell still puts pictures of Fabio anywhere? Uh, it's not 1984, calm down. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, and uh, this was actually my favorite one too. You never know where you're gonna meet someone. This person apparently found somebody they missed their connection with in line for a porta potty. Quote, you were in line for the porta potty inside the Eagle Sunday after Sunday afternoon at the Folsom Fair. You were shirtless and wearing a cute hat. I came up to you and said, I think you're hot. And you said the same. I know this is a long shot, but I hope you get this. <laughs> you know, I really wanted to make fun of this, but now I'm really rooting for this couple, and here's why. If a chick sees you coming out of the crapper, <laughs> wearing no shirt, probably after you just did something nasty, and she still thinks you're hot, this chick is the real deal. <laughs> She's into you, and you need to do whatever. Because if a woman doesn't love you after you leave the restroom, she doesn't love you. She doesn't. All right, folks, if you have a Craigslist funny story you found, please send it in to Chabot College, 25555 Hesperian Boulevard. That's, of course, Hayward, California, 94545. Attention, the Sandy Sex Show. So stick around. Thank you.